Hi, Glenkirk Church friends and family. Pastor Tim Peck here. You know, I've been doing a lot of reading, thinking, and praying lately about the remarkable growth of the early Christian church during its first few hundred years. During that first few centuries, the Christian church grew from being less than 1% of the population of the entire Roman Empire to claiming more than a third of the population. Less than 1% to more than 33% in just a couple of centuries. And the church grew this way, facing remarkable obstacles. Obstacles like persecution, economic upheaval, and even a few pandemics that swept through the entire Roman Empire. According to church history scholar Alan Kreider, this remarkable growth of the early church in these first few centuries was not the result of some kind of strategic plan. According to Dr. Kreider, it wasn't even that intentional. According to Dr. Kreider, the virtue of patience that the church had cultivated among Christians that were part of those congregations was one of the most formidable factors in the early church's growth. Dr. Kreider says that patience was like a yeast that fermented over time and gradually began to transform the people of the Roman Empire. It wasn't flashy or explosive, but it was slow, gradual, and unstoppable. You know, patience is a topic that we'd often rather to ignore. We all know the old joke, don't pray for patience, because who knows what God might send into your life to develop it. But amid this public health crisis that we find ourselves in right now, this economic downturn that we're experiencing, and all the political and social divisions that surround us right now, I believe patience is the very virtue that we need in order to transform our culture and to be transformed ourselves. In the Bible, the Greek word translated patience in the New Testament means to bear up under difficult or weighty circumstances. It could be translated endurance, perseverance, being steadfast. We're all carrying a lot of weighty circumstances right now. Many of us are carrying our fears and anxieties about our health and the health of those that we care about. We're carrying concerns about hospitals getting full, about when it will be safe to send our kids back to school. Concerns about rising unemployment, businesses struggling, marriages hurting. And it's these very circumstances that invite us to cultivate the Bible's virtue of patience. The book of James pictures patience this way. It says, patience is like a farmer who carefully cultivates the ground, waiting for the land to produce its crops in due time. The author James goes on to say in James chapter 5, verse 8, Like a farmer, you too be patient and stand firm. Because the Lord's coming is near. I don't think James is only talking about the Lord's coming at the end of history. I think he's also talking about the Lord's coming into the very situation that we are bearing up under, patiently enduring. That God will come into our situation to bring his solution and hope if we give it enough time. And that takes patience. So Glenkirk, let's grow in the virtue of patience together in this season. And may that growth in patience be like yeast that ferments into our families, in our neighborhoods, into our community, in our workplaces. May patience produce its fruit
Not only in us personally as we become more fully devoted to Jesus as his followers, but may it produce its fruit of drawing others to trust in Jesus because of how we endure and persevere in the face of obstacles. What an incredible opportunity this season provides for us if we have eyes to see. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.